Second and 12. Fake to Jackson. McCoy looking towards the end zone into coverage. And it's intercepted by J.J. Wilcox. Then the ball comes out. Let's watch Wilcox as he went to get it. Has it. Goes to the ground. Out of Penn State. Bortles on third and three. And that pass is broken up by J.J. Wilcox. So the Jaguars following. Little stick route there. Get beyond the distance for the first down. And you can see J.J. Wilcox kind of drawing a line in the sand right there. Reads that route very well. Able to make the deflection. The throw right here on a third and seven. Pump fake throws over the middle. And it is Wilcox who comes up with the ball. It was deflected off Zach Ursh's hands and it's an interception got it before it hit the ground and that's the way the third quarter will here it is again now they changed the rule the Bert Emanuel rule they call it about 12 13 years ago if you control the ball the ball can hit the ground which it does there and it's legal same thing as a receiver if the guy makes a catch whether it's eight minutes here comes Carter on the blitz they pick it up. The pass is caught. That's a first down. That's Brent Selleck over the middle. The ball taken away from him, but the play was top of a cowboy. You got Selleck here. He goes down on Wilcox. He never hits the ground. The ball comes loose. It's recovered by Wilbur. And right now they're just checking to see where to spot. Less than three minutes to play. Play fake. Manning throws. Caught 20 yard line. Then the ball is loose again. And the Cowboys have it. J.J. Wilcox slams into Odell Beckham, but they're going to say incomplete. Wondering when does a catch become a catch? There has to be a lot more action after the catch than that. Just think of it as almost the runner has to be in a position to square up and make some kind of a move before you're going. Keep it rolling. The last two completions, they're able to get out of bounds and stop it. Here's one over the middle, tipped into the air and intercepted. Picked off by Wilcox. And that will likely seal this one here in Philadelphia. Intended for Ertz. Low snap. Passes. Broken up. Julio Jones had it for a moment. And J.J. Wilcox knocked it away. And that saved a touchdown, third goal. Well, this is a ball that's thrown high. Julio Jones typically makes those plays, but it's it's tough as a receiver when you got to go up and make a grab down there knowing you're going to take some shots. Ball doesn't come out well for Ryan. We've seen him be a little bit. And Alfred Morris is trapped behind the line for a safety. Cowboys up four, four seconds to play. Cousins looking. Throwing towards the end zone and may go out of the end zone. Incomplete. And the Cowboys hold on and win it. Four man rush. Pass underneath the fumble. And the Dallas Cowboys are going to come up with it. Cameron Meredith was the receiver, but not for long. Wilcox hit him. Turn it up the field. Let's take a look. Catch, turn. I think that is a fumble. J.J. Wilcox, great shot right on the ball. Tucked it away, no question. Yep. Gabbard, Curley, broken up. Well played by Wilcox. He was there stride for stride with 17. With a perfect coverage by J.J. Wilcox. Got, he gets hands on Curley. But he turns and he's there in position to make a play. The 49ers brought edge pressure off the slot. That's why Wilcox then is one on Played on this field while in high school. Quick throw. Ball is out. Pass incomplete. Incomplete. Yeah, this is one of those things that these officials are looking. Cousins pass is broken up. No flag. Wilcox in coverage on Vernon Davis. Wilcox, he's in man coverage, or excuse me, he's the free defender. 
He's dropping down. He's looking for the crossing route. He plays it perfectly. Clock at two. They bluffed another blitz. Stafford's going to run. No, he's not. Pulled up just shy of the line, and it's an interception. Ricocheted into the arms of J.J. Wilcox. In the league, but they have the second highest success rate in sacks when they do blitz. Lee almost got there. Stafford throws and almost intercepted. J.J. Wilcox got in front of Marvin. Matt Stafford has been running for his life, and a lot of it has to do with this.